guys what's going hello. on <laughs> hello 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 greetings from the other side alex say hi hello guys how's everyone doing hopefully better than i am so uh hang in there everyone gets better <laughs> <laughs> so i did mention um in my video before that alex is not feeling too well but she's getting there look at the look at the color in her face today she's looking very very nice right and the hair it's not just me pinching my cheeks right before this hair is under control i think she looks great <laughs> today actually so today guys well thanks <laughs> we're going to be talking about kingdom episode four and so it's going to be the <laughs> the first three performances for round two, actually. And so um, for those of you who didn't watch it, go watch it now. <laughs> um, don't expect us to have it at the bottom here for you today because we continue to be victims of Mnet's copyright um, claims. And I think I've honestly figured out the algorithm to this thing. So, based on what I've monitored and seen from other reaction videos of people, uh, YouTubers, content creators, it needs to be literally like, I think 10% visible with a watermark and like 0% volume. So, I don't know, at that point, like, when I ask myself, I'm like, do I want to add it to our video to share with you guys when I'm just like, y'all just want to see that in, like, HD. Like, go watch those video yeah. performances in HD. It doesn't, like, our reactions to it are, like, okay. They're pretty intense sometimes, but it's nothing compared to you guys going to watch the video in HD and then you guys can follow us on our thoughts and leave like comments on what you guys think so we're gonna skip all that hassle all together and we're just gonna talk about our performances uh, today so did you end up watching the whole show this time around? yeah oh. yeah I watched the whole episode this time guys that's right. That's yes. right. I mean, did I fast forward through a lot of the talking? Yes, absolutely. But I watched it. Oh, you okay? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, there's just a, there's just a lot of talking <laughs> and a lot of prep work. I was like, uh, mm -mm. I really enjoyed this episode. There was also like that um, group group like engagement that I was like, oh my god, interaction. I was just like, ah, okay. So first, we will talk about the performances. Um, first off, SF9. Oh, let's talk about what this round is. And then we'll talk about the performances. So you guys know that uh, the first round was To The World. And it was basically groups choosing songs, um, their songs, picking either one or mashing up more than one. And basically garnering like a message that they want to tell the world this round is called reborn and so what this round what happens is groups are actually paired up and they have to perform each other's song and so ATs who got um, like that first place after the internal voting and the experts vote um, got to choose who, like they got to choose first which group they wanted to switch songs with pretty much and just like Alex predicted <laughs> and just like I wanted ATs chose Icon to switch uh, songs with perform each other's songs and then from there on they picked uh, like the next group to pick who they wanted to switch with was going in the order of their ranking and so Stray Kids got to pick and then Stray Kids actually picked B2B, which left FSF9 and the boys to be paired up together. Now, ATs also got the added bonus of uh, making up the cue sheet, so the order of performances for this round as well. 
and they've ever so kindly <laughs> allowed SF9 to go first, who were the ones to go last last round. So SF9 was the first group to perform this week, and they swapped with the boys. So they performed a song from the boys, and then what they ended up choosing was the Stealer, which was also you'll recall the song from the boys um, intro performance, the hundred second one. So. I will let Alex, you go first to comment. So everything I said about SF9 last week, throw it out the window, forget I said anything. Um, this time, they brought the heat. They brought the heat. They ate it up. They left no crumbs. I am, was, and am, and will continue to be floored with their performance. I think they did a phenomenal job. The storyline, the costumes, the lengths, the acting coach, I'm sorry. Like they pulled out all the stops and they did it phenomenally. I am so impressed with their performance. It is, I, I mean, 180 is a complete turnaround. Yeah, it is like the, the most golden of 180s that I have witnessed to date. I think that they, have absolutely embodied this challenge. Like they killed it, they stole it. Because oh. <laughs> they're still Oh my God, guys! This is how, this is how you guys know Alex is back, and she's she's feeling good when she's just dropping those K-pop puns for y'all. <laughs> um. Okay, so this round, Evnet, I I. I guess and I assume stuck to their promise and told every team exactly how much budget they had and it looks like SF9 was just like let's time to flex guys it's time to flex if Icon brought Hollywood to last round SF9 no no if Icon brought <laughs> Broadway last round SF9 brought Hollywood this round because the stage effects like they had a crane that like came down and like dropped and there's like fire like they're shooting these flamethrowers so many so many so many effects and it was um i think their depiction of the stealer they took the stealer and made it a very more mature concept than the boys did um whether it was the intro performance or even um, the song itself, the music video, they made it a way more mature performance. The noir concept is what they called it. And um, you will notice, aesthetically, um, they didn't only bring out these guns, they brought out these guns. I was just like, you guys, you guys can bet every single dollar that after the SF9 performance, I went to check out some fan cams. <laughs> I didn't, but you know. I linked it to her. I was just like, just in case you're looking for this. Mm, um, I wasn't. So, also very happy that Rowan um, got to perform this week as well. Uh, we know he sat out from the last round due to an injury, um, but he's back this week. And I love some of the memes that were going around on the internet. It was like SF8. Eight members went to Rowan and said, they're picking on us and ranked us last. And then Rowan's like, Hulk, take my coat. And then it was <laughs> like, this week, uh, came back. They killed it. Also, they took uh, the Steeler and made it a little bit more vocal heavy versus the original song as well. So I liked how they both arranged it, took the concept, made it more mature all in all amazing like this is that kingdom sort of class and budget and all of all in all like package that everyone is looking for and sf9 killed it if oh yeah by the way in the video too in this week's um episode dawan said that if he, their group ranks last again this week he's gonna shave his head so <laughs> There's no way. There's absolutely. I'm sorry. There's no way. Like they did such a phenomenal job. Like if they rank last, it's rigged. I'm sorry. I'm I'm claiming it now. 
Dawan, There's no way. Dawan's hair is like hundo P safe from like being shaved off because there's no way with that performance could they watch us eat our words next week. What, should I pledge something if Dawan comes if SF9 no. comes last? Olivia will also shave her head in support in solidarity. And if she doesn't pledge it, then clearly she's not as confident in SF9 as she claims to be. That's right. <laughs> Just found a fake fan, Dude, guys. I'm not. I'm not not confident in SF9. I'm just not confident in the system. Like I'm, I'm not confident in Mnet. I don't trust Mnet. Sorry, I'm not. No, I'm not sorry. <laughs> I could have been until the copyright strike, but now I'm not sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um. I'll think about it. <laughs> but um. Yes. So loved it. Loved it. Loved it. So good. Um not much more to say uh it was also like the complexity around they also had to take like the martial arts um classes to kind of be able to depict these fighting scenes safely so you could see um not just the prop wise but like the person and the training the members and the training there was a lot of work put into that as well so good job to sf9 very very excited Hopefully they will rise from the bottom. Maybe in the top three. I don't know. But let's, let's hope so. Yeah, they deserve it. And then, so the groups that got paired up had to perform back to back to each other, which meant that after SF9 performed the Steeler, the boys had to go next. And then the boys actually took SF9's O Solemio to perform. Now. That song itself is very, very, it's a very strong, like, style song, like Latin vibes, right? Even from the original. And so when the boys were picking which SF9 song to, like, perform, I thought it was a very good choice. <sighs> however, <laughs> however, I don't know now if this is going to play into, like, a, it's not going to be a good hand of cards because they took the whole theme around it too and stick like stuck with it so they stuck with the latin and the tango and un unfortunately this week the boys also had a little mishap with their performance and it was it was definitely one of the more obvious ones cuz what happened is you'll recall he came in with like the staff and he was supposed to lit the end of the staff on fire but it didn't light the end but you did see his hand did get lit up and so it's just like at that point you're like oh okay yeah that was supposed to happen and then that kind of stuck with me <sighs> like it also took away, I think, a little bit from the preceding like parts of the performance that required the staff to be lit up because it was ended up being darker than it was. And so I think I'm afraid the boys might fall a little bit um, this week within the rankings for sure. Alex? Ah. <laughs> uh I mean, I don't, I'm not really familiar with the original song, so, I mean, just seeing the title of it, I'm expecting a Latin concept. Like, I think, like, was it kind of an obvious direction for them? Yes. But, like, would it have worked if they completely didn't do any Latin-esque twist? I feel like they might, like, you know, the, the consensus might be that they completely missed the mark of the song itself. Uh, don't really have much to say about their stylistic choices. Um, I think it was a very engaging performance. It was exciting to watch. I think there's a lot going on, like, almost too much at times. Um, but it wasn't overwhelming. I just, and this isn't directed to the boys particularly, but... I am so tired of the pyrotechnics. Like, every week, every group, there's fire. Like, I get it. They're boys. They want to play with fire. But, like, 
ugh, can we put in like a water or something? Like, can we put in a different element? Like, it's always fire. And like, especially with this one kind of being a bit of a bust um, in terms of the actual pyrotechnics, it's just like, hopefully that will encourage groups to steer away from overuse of them. Cause I just find like, it's a really cheap crutch for special effects. And again, that's not just for the boys in this specific performance, it's just this performance highlights the fact that like, hey, maybe you guys shouldn't rely so heavily on pyrotechnics for the wow factor, because in case it fails, it becomes an issue, like a notable issue. Mm -hmm. I agree. What they did use towards the end that was really nice was the LED with the arrow. I thought that was really yeah. cool. I think that- That was cool. Yeah, that like can top and if like LED use like correctly and nicely, it can actually play in their favor. And also from like the Mama um, performances last year that were tease <laughs> teaser for Kingdom, you will see like lots of like the LED for their stage as well, um, where the bottom was like lit up to look like a cliff, like 3D like a cliff. So I thought that was really cool. So yeah, Alex has, like, you have a good point. Maybe just steer away from all the fire and just do something that is Or just, more... like, use it when it makes sense. Like, but it's, like, 90% like, of the performances have had some element of fire in them over the last, what, three weeks especially. Like, episode one, no. Actually, no, even episode one, no. The introduction stages also had fire. So it's been, like, a solid 90% of the performance is using some kind of fire to razzle-dazzle. Yeah. San had the torch in the 100 second one. That had fire. Yeah, um, Chan had a flamethrower. Yeah, Chanbin had the flamethrower, like, fireworks thing. And then... In the first round, uh, Chanu did like the throwing of the. Yeah, that's true. Yo, is fire the only element? What's going on? That's true. You have a good point. Hopefully, we'll see some more water. How do you depict Earth? <laughs> I don't know. Like earthquakes, like they kind of like. Uh... SF9 kind of did it with like stuff breaking, but they just put. Again, they put pyrotechnics in it where like the the little fire escape thing <laughs> uh like sparked up and whatever but was it was it the boys last time last round that they had like the ice and water concept yes like yes, that yes. was cool like yeah but then I, i'm pretty sure they also put fire towards the end of it when it was starting to like melt the ice or something yeah and like he drew did like that thing like this and like yeah it is Distinguish the fire. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Well, God, <laughs> God damn it. So much damn fire. <laughs> um, so all in all, like, still a very good performance given that there was, like, the whole um, mishap that the torch thingy did not light, unfortunately. And you could tell he was, like, really hard on himself afterwards as well. But, like, when you you know, try to do these things and the complications... When you play it. with fire, you get burnt! <laughs> but not literally, I just mean they put a lot of their faith in that fire working out for their performance, and it didn't. Yeah. Which is how they got metaphorically burned. Hopefully they don't get burned too bad in the rankings this week, so let's see. I don't, I don't know, I don't think so. I think they still had a solid performance, that aside. And then the last performance that Mnet ever so kindly allowed us to watch <laughs> before cutting us off was um, <laughs> Icon's performance. And Icon got picked by ATs to do their swap. And before I even mention that, <laughs> like, the song or the performance from Icon, I just have to mention how cute their interaction was. Like they were both, the, both teams were sitting in the first round next to each other, waiting for like the announcements and the break, and literally talking like, "Oh, when's your next schedule?" and so forth. And then Bobby just like, "Oh, where's your agency? Oh, it's at this." It's like, "What? 
oh yeah where's your dorm oh what you live right there you're like five minutes away from me whatever whatever and then literally after that icon was just like hey guys we have friends now <laughs> i was just dying so i'm like yo ats are so easy i can't just ask them a simple question they're like you want to know my address you want to know my like bank pin you want to know my mom's middle here's name my oh, here you go. here's everything you've ever wanted to know about me please i was dying <laughs> I love it. I loved it. So funny. Like, I, so funny. I love it. And so, I was also dying um, at the point where Icon was having, like, their little briefing and trying to decide on a song. Because, <laughs> um, I think it was Jin Hwan that proposed, um answer and i immediately was like to my brother i was like yo it might be answer i was waiting for that he was just like mm, damn it tell them they're not gonna make it and i was just like shut up <laughs> um but ultimately i don't know maybe my brother sent them a text because they chose inception as the song to perform on this round sorry can we just cut in onto this hype Pathetical scenario where my brother your brother could just casually text Icon. Okay. I feel like if you haven't exploited that connection at this point, you're not living life properly. Okay. You don't need him for bubble tea. Forget the bubble tea. Okay, fine. He <laughs> didn't text him. I slipped into their DMs. <laughs> More believable. <laughs> and so, um, yes, they chose Inception as the song to perform. Okay. I'm gonna let Alex go first. Maybe not the best idea, but uh, <laughs> all right, guys, get your cancellation fingers out. Um, so first of all, wait, you didn't like even foresight me today. Like, hey, when we talk about like Kingdom this week, I might say something. Oh, I, I, tr I, tr I tried, and then you're like, save your thoughts for the reaction video, and I was like, okay. Um, oh my god, guys. Okay, okay, okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. So, first and foremost, Inception. With the theme being Inception. Come on. Like, that is the only logical link that exists for that word, and they used it. Like, for me, it's not a creative choice. Mm. Because, I mean, how often do you hear the word Inception used in conversation? Everybody thinks of either, you know, the song that we are talking about or the movie. And the fact that they chose the movie to base their concept off of, mm, mm -mm, I don't know. I, I don't know. For me, that was a little bit of an like low-hanging fruit moment. Uh, next. I like what they did with the song i like that they kind of took out the chorus which is you know the key part of most songs kind of reworked it and made it a vibe i like that i think that was unique i think that was a good approach maybe not the smartest approach but definitely a unique approach and i think that makes them memorable in terms of the performance itself I, I find it a little bit lazy. Like, uh, yes, it's controversial, but, like, just, like, okay, Icon delivered a solid performance. They always do. However, like, looking at the growth, for example, of SF9, who was in the bottom rankings, um, and how they completely reworked everything for this week pulled out all the stops like you can see how much work they've put into it i feel like icon considering they they were in the bottom three right last week bottom. they were in the bottom three yeah, yeah 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 so for a group that's in the bottom three you'd think they would want to pull out all the stops and i feel like they didn't like they delivered a solid performance but i feel like so far for like most of kingdom icons just been like you know 
they've been kind of flat and I'm not saying they're bad. They're, they are having solid performances, but with how much work the other groups are putting into their performances, I feel like Icon could definitely stand to throw in a little bit more razzle dazzle and a little bit more, I don't even know special effects. I feel like they could give more of themselves to the performance than just ticking off like criteria or like, hey, this is what we're doing for the week and then just kind of coasting on it. So I was a little bit disappointed almost in their performance because, you know, they are experienced. They are a YG group. Like, you know, I expected for them, like, you know, seeing how some of the other groups are like busting uh, to also like bust their booties. But uh seems like felt a little bit short of my expectations but maybe that's just me i don't know <laughs> let me use the silent shock <laughs> i was just like uh, okay oh, hold on let me get my mind together because that was a little <laughs> bit too much for me <laughs> i i Okay, I understand actually everything that you said, and I respect that, like, your view, because, t like, taste-wise taste, taste -wise and, like, our different approach when we, when we watch Kingdom, right? Just like when I said, okay, like, the boys use O Sol and Mio, and, like, um, the song, and, like, you were like, okay, I never listened to the song outside of Kingdom performance and whatever. So, I think that basis alone like when we approach a certain performance and what we look for is very different so I think I respect that and I think that that kind of explains why you feel this way about icons performance and I feel like a different way and so to preface i do know inception so i oh, am okay. familiar with the song for once <laughs> <laughs> okay so i thought actually that like icon did really really well this week um <clears throat> i think they used their knowledge of this week's budget very well with their stage setup and i agree like Inception using the movie Inception theme is like a low hanging fruit. I agree with that. But at the same time, my mind is like, that is also like a risky move. Because that movie isn't, it's not like, it's not like, you know, not famous. It's a really famous movie. And also to depict that movie on stage, right? Because we have to know movies are movies, special effects are special effects. But to depict that on stage as well has its challenges. And I think they did really well with the construction of certain moving parts in their stage. So like the door and then like the walls moving and then the street lights flipping. So I think that was really well done. And they, I think they played like homage to the movie quite well. <sighs> in terms of like Inception Inception, the song... I actually really like the fact that how they arrange the song and how they perform the song in their own style. Like, it wasn't... It, after watching that, I was just like, yo, straight up, Icon stole this song from ATs now. Like, it's not... It's not ATs anymore. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not... Like, when you listen to this version of inception you're like yo this is not an at song this is an icon song and the dance arrange uh the dance routine that they did very icon the ending where it's always like that anthem and coming together very icon as well and so <clears throat> well so because of my um, difference of opinion. <laughs> Look, Inception! <laughs> uh, uh, because of my difference of opinion, 
even Discord wants to cut me off. Um, <laughs> but no, I, 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 I like the fact that Icon did Inception in Icon style, Icon way. And even though they took the low hanging fruit and did Inception the movie as their theme, um, they didn't change it like they didn't follow sort of like the kingdom menu and combo where it's like pyros well they did it for the other one <laughs> but like you know um dark like dark outfits or like acrobatics and all this other stuff like it didn't really follow the kingdom algorithm but they brought icon style to inception and i think they did a great job so interesting that you think differently but it's not that i don't think they did a good job it's just if we're evaluating their performance on a standalone basis that's one thing but contrasting with what the other groups are doing i just think that they're not putting in as many elements mm -hmm. as some of the other groups and like that is likely a choice like a conscious choice on their part i just don't know if that is a choice to their benefit mm. Mm. okay i agree you know like so far like i haven't watched uh, road to kingdom but it seems like you know kingdom is very much like go big or go home mm -hmm. and i just fear that icon's not going big enough like mm -hmm. they could scale it more like watching sf9 and you're like i don't know what else they could have done like they did everything like i don't know watching you know icon you're like oh, there's more they could have done mm -hmm. you know and that's just like that's just kind of my sentiment like i don't think it was bad at all it's just go big or go home you know yeah i get it and i and then there's me sitting here like <laughs> i just like the fact that when I watch Icon, I know I'm watching Icon. When Icon's performing a song, it's like, yo, Icon, that is like an Icon song. And so, <clears throat> I think that bit for me is very, like, um, something that I would say is an advantage if, if I got to judge them. <laughs> Guys, what am I talking about here? <laughs> But, we do get to judge them right here on our very own YouTube channel. Yeah. Except these judgments mean nothing except probably pissing off some people. Sorry, guys. Getting us cancelled. <laughs> That's fine. I speak the truth from my own perspective. <laughs> I speak my truth. She speaks yeah. all English. Okay. It's a hard language, guys. It's a hard language. Um... All right, and so next week, based on the teaser that we got at the end, uh, next week, ATs is gonna go. St okay, now I'm starting to think there's like really a strategic way people are doing the, your, their planning of performances, because Stray Kids picked to go fourth, and now ATs arranged it so that they're going fourth. Is going fourth better than going last? Now, like, I don't know, maybe. I guess it's, there's not, like, a grand finale moment. But then, now, also, it puts them at the first performance of the second week. Right? So, yeah. I don't know. It's, like, that's very interesting. And, what, what is the song that... Oh, I think they're performing Rhythm Ta from Icon. I don't think they've decided... But also, like, Icon did Rhythm Toss, so I don't know if ATs will be touching that. They didn't... They, they didn't did it for the... It? Did they tease it? I don't... I didn't watch the teaser. Oh, I think I think they did tease it, and I think Icon... Uh, I think ATs is doing Rhythm Toss. Which mm. is also very interesting, because... That is interesting. Like you said, it was in the intro performance, so... That would be interesting. That is a very bold move because you have something to be compared against like within the same show. So that's very interesting. And then 
Uh, something of concern that I met, I noticed is that one of the members of B2B, Chung Sub, is absent. Like he was there at the very beginning of the show, of this episode, and then we didn't see him afterwards. It was only three people. So I don't know what happened there. I hope he's okay. Um, and then we also have Stray Kids. I know Stray Kids, I think, took like a very ballad song from B2B and like it's just going to turn it into something else, like based on the teaser. But yeah. you mean like an EDM song? <laughs> <laughs> Could happen. I know B2B actually took uh, Stray Kids back door. So that'll be interesting to see. Backdoor is such a, like, it's a thing. It's like... EDM song? <laughs> yeah, but, like, style and, like, just all over performance is, like, already so embedded in people's minds. So how yeah. how B2B is going to perform and interpret Backdoor in their own um, style is going to be interesting as well. <clears throat> and so that... Whoa. <laughs> Guys, what's happening? <laughs> I've infected you through the screen. <laughs> and so that kind of wraps up our thoughts about um, episode four performances. Uh, the first three from round two, the reborn theme. Alex, did you check out the um, rankings, the final rankings for the international votes? And also the views. So it was actually very, very interesting. Let us pull them up here. <clears throat> ba, 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 ba. Okay. That should be better. Mm -hmm. Okay, so these are the rankings from um, the final votes on all different portions. Now, if I was really <laughs> good, if I was really good at math, like you know, stereotypes usually say about my kind, <laughs> I could probably tell you, <laughs> calculated wise, who's on top and who's. Uh, not on top but you know I'm just not that great but we could just take a look and actually analyze what we see here um, based on what kind of themes or were these kind of things that you were expecting and so based on the votes now this is the votes on the who's fan app from Mnet where you have to pick three groups before you submit uh, Stray Kids was number one and then Icon was number two, ATs was third, B2B was fourth, The Boys uh, fifth, and then SF9 sixth. And so there's a lot to say, like whether it's stays that are voting uh, for Stray Kids and also voting up like Icon or ATs, we don't know, like unless we send like a mass survey. But, um, this is a very interesting thing. And then I honestly thought the voting would very much mimic the views. But apparently that wasn't the case. Because, uh, oh sorry, that was the views. Yeah. if I thought the voting would very much mimic the views, but it didn't. Because when we go votes, Stray Kids was on top. But then SF9 was in second. And so, I was just like, how, how does this work? It doesn't. <laughs> how does this work? And then Icon was third. B2B fourth and AT's fifth. Then the boys in last for global votes. So, like, the ZZZs in the global votes did not come on top. Right? Except for Stray Kids at number one. And then you have ATs and the boys 
fifth and sixth in the votes. So, really, what I kind of want to bring up is how complex this voting system is, one. <laughs> Everything Mnet does is complex for no reason. And then two, like, it's really hard to kind of see where things are trending. Like, you can't really predict that. But I guess it's good because then you don't have, like, you know, SF9 and Icon just constantly sitting at the bottom. So, yeah. Interesting. G, did you guys vote, like, I don't know, in the direction that you guys were seeing here in the results? Or were you guys, like, kind of surprised as well? There's a lot of, like, um, traffic and, like, buzz on, like, social media, Twitter and stuff like that around streaming and how Mnet is literally canceling some of the views for some of the streams. So I don't even know how that works. Like, you watched it, you watched it. How can they just take it out? Again, Mnet likes to complicate everything for no reason whatsoever. I know there's like certain rules where you have to watch it from beginning to end at a certain volume, like for it to count as a view. But like, is does Mnet have like this kind of like power? Yes. Or, like just yes. Can yes. I, like I'm canceling your views. Yes. Yes. So yes, they do. It's concerning to a lot of fans internationally um, <laughs> because fans are working really hard day and night apparently to uh, do the views and make the views count because I think views are like forty percent or ten percent of like the round score. So, anyhow, at this point, I've pretty much dropped my concern about the rankings and more about the stages and the abs, because they're a bonus. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <sighs> All right. We will end this on um, this note before we say anything else that might get us cancelled or just start going off topic but um, we have some content planned I know I keep saying this every week but I do have something planned I did a reaction video last night without Alex um, as she was resting and recovering from her illness so uh, there's putting stuff out there and actually last week if you guys were following us on our Instagram you'll see that I put out an unboxing video on our IGTV, uh, checked out Pentagon, and also um, winner's uh, Sunghoon solo album. So if you don't follow us on our socials, you're missing out on some exclusive content. Make sure you follow us on our TikTok and our Instagram. And if you like our YouTube content, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel very very much appreciated and once again don't forget to leave comments even if it's the c for cancelled you have to press yes. enter okay especially after you know my icon commentary i'm waiting please we didn't it didn't but... look like we got cancelled last time for our um other commentary so yeah but just just let me know what you guys think clearly like olivia and i are on two different ends of the spectrum here so it'd be really interesting to hear where you guys do you guys like that icon stuck to icon style or are you guys like Alex where it's like they could be doing something more just putting more beef into it you know let us know in the comments would love to know and with that we are going to end this video see you guys soon <laughs> bye bye guys <laughs>